Okay, so this mastery quiz is all about making sure that you know how to use your graphing calculator. It's not too tough. You just need to make sure that you're familiar with this super cool tool that helps you graph things. So where we're going to go is we're going to go to our graphing calculator. We're going to hit our Y equals button, and we're just going to type in that graph that we got. Well, not graph, but equation over here. So I'm just going to type that in. Be careful that you use this negative. Um, your calculator is too stupid to understand that subtractions and negatives are the same thing. So you actually have to push a negative button if it's just a regular negative. Um, so we got x plus 3, x plus 1, and x minus 5. Um, note that I'm not like foiling any of this. I'm just writing exactly what's there. And x minus 5. So double checking, x plus 3, x plus 1, x minus 5, plus 3, plus 1, minus 5. And it'll look exactly like that. There'll be different numbers. There might not necessarily be a negative right there. Um, and then you're going to hit graph, and you're going to see what you got. Um, now mine's got some nice grid lines on it. Yours might not necessarily have nice grid lines on it. Um, and there's my graph. It looks like three things, and I, I don't really like that. I want to see the bottom down here and I want to see the top up there um, and if you're having any trouble like your graph doesn't show up very well a good trick is to press zoom and then standard it's either six or seven depending upon which calculator you got so zoom standard is your best thing in case anything goes wrong so I'm gonna hit that and see what I got now Ooh, when I did that actually that helped me out because now I can see this bottom I really like that but I still can't see this top so I'm going to go to the window, and I'm just going to guess. I'm just going to straight up guess. Now, again, it's that top that I want to adjust, and it, this is the y-axis. So I need to adjust the maximum for the y, because it's like the top of the y. So I've got to make this number a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go down to it. Do, do, do. I'm not going to mess with anything else. Try to only mess with one thing at a time, and don't go too crazy right off the bat. So I'm just going to try 20 and see what I get. Just straight up guessing. I don't really know what's going to happen. So, oop, that wasn't enough. I still can't see the top. So I'm going to try, let's see, go to my window again. Let's just try a little bit more. You know what? Let's just go cr like slightly crazy, not too crazy. Just mild crazy. And let's go 50. And then there's the bottom. And, ooh, there's the top. You know, that's really close to the top like it, it's just right on the edge there I think I want to make it just a little bit better um, so I'm gonna bump it up to 60 just so I can really see stuff and then it'll be real nice it looks so good and then I also noticed that the bottom was really close so I'm also gonna change the Y min because I saw that the bottom was really close too so we'll just make it like a negative 15 and check out that graph and there's the bottom, I've got some space down here, and there's the top, just a little bit of space up there too, so that's good. Now, I'm looking over here, and this is what I would call wasted space. I don't really care about anything over here. I care about these three spots. I don't really care about any of this junk, so let's change that. So this is my x-axis. So I'm going to change my x-min, so let's change it down. Let's just make it like a 7, and we'll graph that. And if it had been bad, I could have just shrunk it down. Yeah, there we go. Now we got it closer to the edge there. Same thing over here. I've got like three boxes of excess space. So let's get rid of that. Um, so let's change our X max instead. Note how I keep changing only one number at a time. If you try to change a whole bunch of things at once, you're going to have a bad time. Now that we got a good graph, um, we need to actually draw this on our mastery quiz. And so we're just going to make a really rough drawing of it. It doesn't have to be very precise. So here's my two axes. So I got line, line, and then I've got my curve. And I'm going to look at it again. There it is. And so I'm just going to make it a rough drawing of that. Ooh, there we go. And then all those numbers that I was working to do, I'm going to put them in their appropriate places so that uh, I know where they're going. So I go back to my window. My x min and max are negative 7 and 7. They might not necessarily be the same. They might be slightly different. Um, but it's just what your graph looks like. Now, don't just write that list. Actually put them where they belong. So this is negative 7 and this is 7 on my x-axis. 
On my y-axis, my minimum is 15 and my max is 60. Now remember, this is the minimum, so it should be down here. So this is like negative 15 and my top is 60. Note that those aren't super precise. It's just kind of an idea of what's going on with there. Okay, I labeled my window. Now I gotta do my x-intercepts. My x-intercepts are right here. And I want to write where they are exactly. And they're all right here. This one's negative 3. So this is 0. Oh, sorry. Wrong way around. Negative 3, 0. And this one is... Oh, I did it again. Negative 1, 0. This one is 5, 0. They're just opposites. Now I have to find my maximum and my minimum. Those ones are going to be a little bit more complicated. Here's our max, and here's our min. We need our calculator to do that for us. So I'm going to go to my calculator, and I needed to calculate something. So I'm going to press second, calc. And I need a maximum. So here we go, maximum. And I'm going to move my little spider guy so that he's close to the maximum. So he's kind of on one side of it. See how it says left bound? So I'm going to say, hey, my maximum is somewhere between here and here. Because again, your calculator is too dumb to figure out where it is. So you need to be, hey, be like, hey, stupid, look between here. It's somewhere there. You don't have to be like really, really close. You don't have to put them like right on top of it. You want to give like a little bit of space. And then it says guess. If you want to, you can move your little spider guy over there to about where it is. Or you can just hit enter. It doesn't really matter. And here's my maximum, uh, 2.3737 and 48.516. So I'm going to write that as a coordinate, 2.737, 2.737, note three decimal places, please, and 48.516, 48.516. Then I got to do my minimum, which is the same process, but I'm just going to choose a different option. Second, calc. And I'm going to go with minimum number three. And again, I move my little spider guy over there. So do, 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 do. we're going to slide our way over there. Almost there. Getting over there. There we go. Okay, so I got to get to the left of it first. And then to the other side. Enter to say, hey, it's somewhere in there. And I could guess, I could move it over there, but I'm too lazy to do that. I'm just going to hit enter again, and boom, there's my minimum. Negative 2.707 and negative 7.035. So I'm going to write those. We got negative 2.070, and what was the other one? Negative 7. 7.035 and I'm all done so uh, that's my graph notice it's not super accurate it's just kind of the idea of it um, and it's a graph I like that graph that is a nice graph so that's all you got to do make sure that these numbers are close to the edges you should be able to see everything from that window and it shouldn't have a ton of wasted space. So if this was at like 600, you would have to redo that mastery quiz because it's so far away from where our maximum is. Same thing with this one. We want these numbers to be fairly close to each other. This shouldn't be like 150 or even like 40. Even 40 would be too much wasted space. I want you to show me that you know how to make a nice window for your graph.